Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Ian's Coral Reef and this is the update on the water box frag tank. Okay, so here we go. Here's the update of the water box. I think it's the 105, it's the shallow reef. So the lights that I went for were the Ecotec XR15 Gen 5. Um, these are the brand new lights from Ecotec. And the reason that I went with these guys was that Two of these was the equivalent of three reef LEDs from Red Sea. So I didn't need as many light fixtures to cover uh, this tank. Um, I'm contemplating doing the same as I've done with this guy here and using the T5 add-on, but that'd be at a later date um, because I wanna try and grow out some of my SPS colonies here. But um, yeah, you can see, so I've got one, uh, one fishy in here at the moment. He's doing a really good job keeping on top of all of the algae. He's the guy who had the um, lateral line disease. So you can see his fins are coming back. So actually the fact that this is a, a newer tank and growing a bit more algae is probably quite good for him. So he's been picking away at everything. He was a bit of a bugger to catch, but I got him, I got him in there. Um, so yeah, so this tank has ultimately been cycling for a couple of months. Um, but as you can see, I've already got some uh, SPS frags in here. Uh, let me just change my filter so you can see a bit better. Okay, so I've just put my little orange filter thing, but actually um, I'm doing this on my phone and the picture quality really isn't as good. Uh, so anyway, so as you can see, I've got some uh, SPS colonies already in there because I really want to use this as a frag tank. Um, so I thought I'd just do some tests to see how these guys are doing. And they've been in here, I think, uh, three weeks, maybe four. Oh, my God, time eludes me at the moment. And they're actually doing really well. Um, I've not lost anything. Um, I've got this really nice pipe organ uh, that I got from Paraquatics that I've been fragging up for them. And um, there's a really sort of big bit of it here. It's a really, really nice kind of, almost like turquoise and then with a purple base. And the difference between this and sort of green star polyps is it's got like a, a, a carbon skeleton as well. So it's kind of like got this really nice, um, let's see, it's got this really nice bright red kind of stalk that it grows from. Um, so yeah, so hopefully there'll be lots of that knocking around too. And I've got a little bit of Jedi mind trick there that's just uh, going on. And then this stuff, which is a styler, which is a bit like a, it does grow like a weed once it gets going. And then I've got my LAD frag rack in here, which is brilliant, fits perfectly. So hopefully I'll be able to, you know, really fill this up with lots more. But like I say, it is a new tank, so it's building up a lot of uh, algae film. But I've been throwing everything at this, really to try and cycle this as fast as possible. So I've actually been cycling it with uh, some Vibrant, just to try and keep on top of the algae growth. Um, and I think using this from the beginning should, uh, well, it should help it uh, having all those algae blooms and what have you. See that the tank's actually a little bit cloudy where it is having a uh, bacterial bloom. I've actually just given it a really good uh, scrub down. So all of these guys are all shut at the moment, but these are some bright red uh, zoas and there's lots of um, sponge and everything on this rock. You can actually see all the sponge and everything. And actually when you look in there, look, there's a tiny, is that a, a tiny bit of Aptasia as well in there. Ugh, I'll have to get that. So yeah, you can see this once uh, once they're all closed up. And probably a lot of people have noticed I have a, <laughs> a freshwater uh, ornament in the tank, which is probably not advised, but my nephew bought me this for my birthday. Uh, my birthday was in the lockdown. So he bought me this and what I've done is I've soaked it in vinegar and I gave it a bit of a scrub to try and rough it up a little bit. And 
I've got a little bit of a plan to try to cover it in Cyphastria um, and see if I can, uh, I don't know, make something out of it. I just, just a little project I thought could be fun to see if I can get Cyphastria to grow all over it. And then I'll have a little attack walker, um, which I think could look quite cool. And it'll be a little bit of fun to see how that grows. Okay, so now we go inside this cupboard and I warn you, it's a mess. So this is the dosing pump I think I'm going to be using. It's a spare one that I had. It's a Wi-Fi dosing coral box thing. It's just a cheapie off of eBay. Um, but yeah, you set it up on your phone. Um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about dosing it ATI or... I think ATI or uh, Triton other methods. But I don't, um, it's been holding 7.6 dKH just with the um, Kalkwasa stirrer. So I think it will be a long time before I have to think about dosing. Um, I love this Kalkwasa stirrer. It just stirs it, as you can see at the bottom. And then through evaporation, it just uh, raises the pH and the carbon hardness of the water. So that's uh, a good cheap method i've got a tunzi skimmer this is my old skimmer that i'd actually moved on to a friend and then he didn't need it so it's come back to me now so that's really cool uh, so it's been around the block a little bit i've taken off the uv sterilizer for now because i don't want it to disturb the bacterial load i want to try and get this tank as mature as possible inside here i've got tons of live rock bags of carbon i've got some phosphate remover in here um, and you've got two filter socks here and you've got the silencer so you see it just all flows down i've got a little sump light in here which i've kept on um, just really so i can see what's going on there's my dosing containers uh, for eventually when i do start to dose and then I've got the abomination cupboard, which is just literally everything thrown in. I'm running this tank off my Apex as well, so it's kind of joined with it, and also it's joined to the battery back up. So I've got one MP40 in here, which is joined to this battery backup, and I've got one MP40 in the other tank, which is joined to this battery backup. So if I do have a power failure, both tanks will run. I'm just dosing a little bit of trace hard cellophane there, and yeah, it's a complete mess that's that cupboard so i need to sort all that out but you know time must and all that there's all my i've actually velcroed that up there which is um it's this really strong velcro so it's holding it really well got another little plug thing at the back but yeah ultimately i think this tank looks really cool and i'm running the light schedule on a limited light schedule at the moment so i'm only lighting the tank for sort of six hours a day i think um i've got my auto feeder on here as well just to make sure that it's getting some food, feeding that tang, and just really sort of ghost feeding the tank, if you will. Uh, my next thing I need to do is start adding some more fish. I really want this to be, like I say, a frag tank. So I want maintenance fish. So I might have like an Aptasia eating file fish. I might move over my, uh, my Ras, who's a really good uh, uh, like, uh, Newty Brank eating wrasse, so he likes to pick at everything. And if I move the wrasse over here, then the good thing will be is I'll be able to put um, ornamental shrimp back in the display tank. Um, so I've just got to catch him, which will be fun. All right, so that's just a little quick update on this tank. Hopefully we're gonna get it packed full of uh, coral frags soon. It does take a bit of time, obviously, but I'm really trying to speed this one up, trying to get the, the cycle and everything going and get as much like di biodiversity as possible in this tank so that it can hold as many, as, so it can hold all the frags out of this tank. And that's another thing I'm doing is every time I do a water change is I'm doing my water change on my big tank then I'm using the water from that tank into this tank and then this tank is just then getting sucked all the like detritus and that gets sucked out and then just changing the filter sock. So um, uh, essentially it should be sort of the same water sort of but just with like a week's delay. So hopefully if the water's good enough for that tank then it should be good enough for this tank. I think that, that's the way I'm going with it anyway. Um, so do all the usual stuff, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna have a special update in a couple of days.